good fight fans this is Dean welcome back to standing account fighting channel it was recently reported that UFC featherweight and lightweight champion Conor McGregor signed a contract agreeing to fight Floyd Mayweather I believe the contract really was between uh, Conor McGregor and UFC trying to hash out the details as to what the split will be in terms of the money that each party will receive um, so that was the, the deal I believe that was really worked out not necessarily a contract finalizing the deal between the fight between him and Floyd Mayweather um, so I guess at this point now since the UFC and Conor McGregor have worked out what they needed to that it's now up to Floyd to sign uh, I guess his end of the deal finalizing so they can then you know begin promoting and finding an actual venue because I think they were pushing to have the fight in September but of course the problem with that now is that Triple G and Canelo Alvarez are set to fight in September so it wouldn't really make sense to compete with that fight because when you think about it the fight between Canelo and Triple G has been long awaited and it's probably going to be the biggest fight this year in terms of pay-per-view and money made and viewership in general um don't get me wrong the Conor McGregor fight and Floyd Mayweather fight is going to be a big deal even though most people feel it's a mismatch and you know a lot of people have also complained as to you know point out the fact that Conor McGregor is 0-0 in boxing whereas Floyd Mayweather is 49-0 and, and is considered the best boxer in our generation so um, it's really just a sports entertainment fight uh, aka a money fight we all know why Floyd is um, even accepting the fight he's been getting a lot of criticism but you know a lot of people fail to realize that um, for a while now it's been Conor McGregor calling Floyd out it's not the other way around it's not like Floyd was going out of the way trying to call out a UFC fighter especially considering he knows you know their main discipline isn't boxing I mean they have to really train in every aspect of mixed martial arts to become successful so um, Floyd is just seeing that this is a, a big money fight he's asking for of course over 100 million dollars for the fight um, I'm not sure what Conor will be getting and in his case he has to split um, a lot of that money with the UFC in order to even have the fight come off so I guess we'll see um, I'm I would I'm um you know, I'm honestly looking forward to the fight. I really don't feel Connor has the greatest chance in the world. Um as most people have pointed out, he does have a puncher's chance. And in a lot of the sparring videos they've showed of Connor, he doesn't look that great. Um but you can see in his actual UFC fights, see he moves pretty well. Again, he's moving and doing a lot of things against people who aren't really that disciplined in boxing. But he has good movement. He he gauges distance well. He gauges distance well. He's a great counter puncher, and as we've seen, you know, when he lands, he, he puts people down. Um, of course, another key difference in MMA compared to boxing is um, the glove size. Again, boxing gloves are a lot bigger, um, so the impact is not going to be as significant as when he lands punches on people wearing those smaller MMA gloves. But power is power. It it should translate pretty well. Um, but as we all know, Floyd Mayweather is the king of defense, so um, it's going to be pretty difficult for Conor to land those same punches on him as he's landing on all these other UFC fighters who he's destroyed, you know, coming up the ranks in the UFC. Um, but again, another key thing is Conor McGregor, McGregor is younger and bigger than Floyd. Um, that hasn't really stopped Floyd in the past because he's been fighting a lot bigger and stronger guys throughout his career, especially as he moved up to welterweight. He's always been considered a small welterweight. But the fight, uh, um, it, it should be entertaining as long as it lasts. I'm not sure if Floyd's mission is going to be to try to finish Connor or he's going to like toy with, toy with him for a, a couple rounds or maybe for the entire fight just to kind of keep, you know, people watching. And, you know, I guess to prove a point because, you know, Floyd's not really a knockout artist, but, you know, most people feel like he should be able to knock out Connor. Um, sometime within the fight I don't know if it's gonna be a 12 round fight or a 10 round fight but as we've seen with Connor when he fought Nate Diaz um, in the first fight especially after the first round where he really you know overextended himself he got really tired and when the second round came the second round came about he was pretty much done he had no energy he got caught with one clean punch with by Nate Diaz and he was wobbled and, and instantly went to um, go for a takedown which of course was the beginning of the end for him in that first fight in the second fight he was more economical in his punch selection and he dropped it a couple times but he didn't finish him and even when round two came he was still you know pretty tired um, you know, most people will say it's because of the weight gain or the weight he actually put on 
to fight Nate Diaz again at 170, but again, you still had more time to train, so you should have been able as a professional to adjust to the, the stamina needs for being at a heavier weight. Um, so you really can't use that as, uh, use that as an excuse. So in a 10 or 12 round fight against Floyd, who we all know is well conditioned, um, I'm under the impression that Floyd doesn't knock him out, or let's say he can't knock him out within the first five rounds. Um, by round six, um, Connor's going to be dead tired, um, throwing a lot of weak arm punches, um, missing a lot. And by that point, Floyd's going to pick him apart. Um, he may, I mean, if, if it's going to be a stoppage, my prediction it'll be a stoppage by TKO somewhere in round seven or eight. Uh, but we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to pay for it. I'm going to find some place to watch it for free. Um, preferably a bar. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. The Standing Ink Fighting Channel. Please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And you guys enjoy the fight.